Should Anthony start at left-back for Manchester United? That is the question on everyone's lips at the moment, ever since the Liverpool game, where in extra time he was moved to the left-back position, and in my opinion, he performed pretty well. The question is, could he perform there in the long term? Well, the first thing we need to do is look at what we've seen so far. The sample size is extremely small, but we can see him here in this wide left position. From where, I actually felt that he performed pretty well. Considering you could tell he didn't really want to play in this area when Ten Hag asked him to, I think he done a pretty good job. And of course, the thing which he does being left-footed on the left-hand side is he provides the width. But of course, when you are left-footed on this side of the pitch, it naturally gives you some pretty nice angles to use your stronger foot to move the ball inside. What we can see here, for example, is that if Anthony was right-footed, this pass wouldn't make as much sense. Because if he was right-footed, let's quickly get the arrow tool, he would be playing the pass with this foot, and it's more likely to be intercepted. So, of course, naturally being left-footed, Anthony kind of makes sense to play this left-back role. And in general, I think his performance was pretty good. We can see again here, the left-foot bias playing on the left-hand side. It simplifies the game a lot. Particularly when you arrive from a little bit deeper, as you do from fullback into these positions, being left-footed simplifies the game and, in my opinion, makes it a little bit easier to play these sorts of passes into the little pockets of space to the more advanced players. So again, I think Anthony done well with this. The other thing that Anthony offers from this position is the potential to underlap. So on this occasion, he's going to kind of uh, be aggressive defensively. He's going to win his header, knock the ball forward, and then, importantly, make a run. So he's not happy just kind of knocking the ball forward, then holding his position. Naturally, being a winger, he then wants to move the ball forward quickly. He wants to attack space. And again, he does it pretty well on this occasion. And had Garnacho been able to get the ball off here, he could have found himself in a really good position. So this is something else we need to consider when talking about Anthony at left back. And then, of course, the other thing, the simplicity of playing out from the back when you are left footed. So what we can see here is that if Anthony was right footed, he would probably naturally come inside a little bit. However, because he is left footed, instead he moves the ball away from the traffic. If he had been right footed, he could have gone into these areas where there are, of course, more players. Being left footed, it keeps him away from traffic, allows him to play the ball down the line and therefore keep the ball for Manchester United and be a retention based player. And this is something in general which he does pretty well, in my opinion. We can see his FB ref report here, pass completion the 73rd percentile. Now that might sound a little bit low, but when you consider the side he plays in, a side which loses the ball a lot, that's actually a pretty decent rating. And I would always label him as a retention based player, someone who is good at keeping the ball for the side. So, could that work from left back? I think it could. I think it could. I think there's several ways which uh, Anthony could perform here. For example, I think he's pretty decent in the first phase. Normally, of course, he is higher up the pitch and drops into these areas, but he is good at playing with his back to goal, something which you often need to do at fullback because you will see a winger like this, and as the centre-back plays the ball wide to the fullback, you will often get pressure on your back. Anthony is pretty good at dealing with these situations. When you don't get pressure on your back, you get a little bit more time to play on the ball, and of course, Anthony, being left-footed, has the angle bias. Naturally, he can play his way out from the back in these positions. We've seen already he can work the ball up the line, he can work the ball inside, he can work the ball into midfield. There's lots of different options for him in these sorts of positions. Of course, if Anthony was to be a left back, he probably naturally wants to move forward because he's not someone who's going to tuck into a back three, is he? Not really what he wants to do. He would be someone which wants to move forward. Although, if you think about it, with the current United squad, that could work because Marcus Rashford naturally often likes to come inside, opening up this room for Anthony to then go down the outside. It looks like a pretty good dynamic, almost like what Luke Shaw often does. The other thing he could do also, though, is occasionally underlap. And I could see the pair of them having a good dynamic down the left-hand side. So I think in the possession, Anthony can definitely work at left-back because he is good in the first phase. He is a good retention-based player. He is left-footed, so naturally it suits playing this side of the pitch. He can get forward. I think it makes his final third delivery a little more simple as well, being left-footed from the left-hand side. Swinging crosses into the box, a bit more like an old-school player would down this side of the pitch. I think all of that could suit Anthony. It could suit Anthony. It probably asks Dallo to play a little bit deeper on the other side of defence, which perhaps isn't ideal, but I still think he's good there. So it could work. The questions for Anthony in terms of this left back position for me come out of possession. So before we continue into the video, a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, jerseyfifa.com. 
the home of all of the greatest football kits. Whether that be the new latest releases or the old classic ones like this, Jersey FIFA has something for everyone and now you can check it out yourself using the link in the description down below. And also make sure to use code JERSEYFIFA for 10% off when you order. It is one thing to be a hard working winger, a good pressing winger, someone which tracks back. It's a very different thing to be a good solid defensive fullback. So could Anthony do it? Well, looking at the stats, he is a good defensive player. And again, he is a very, very hard worker. The 90th percentile for tackles, tackles won the 89th percentile, dribblers tackled, dribblers challenged, and also the percentage of dribblers tackled. He's a pretty good defender. In terms of as a forward, he's a pretty good defensive player. But that doesn't necessarily mean that you are great at defending deep areas. Because, for example, as a winger, when you press high, you are often going one versus one against a fullback to try and win the ball back. That's very, very different in terms of the skill set you are facing if you then go up against a winger. It's a very, very different situation. And if we go back to this FB ref report real quick, we can see that whilst he ranks in the 82nd percentile for percentage of dribblers tackled, that is compared to other wingers. You can see his actual percentage rate is 46.2%. Compared to fullbacks of the top level, that's not actually very good at all. So that would be a concern for Anthony. And I think that is my big question mark over a potential transition to a defensive position. In the possession, I think he can do a lot of the work. I think he's got a lot of the tools, press resistance, ball retention, attacking output in the final third. Defensively, would it work? I'm not so sure. Now, perhaps it could in a real high pressing, engaging system. For example, he could be the fullback, which gets connected to the press. So the opposition try and play out. Rashford comes inside like this. Anthony goes high. Particularly if we picture this in the long term, say next season when we've got more athletic centre-backs, this could really work. Anthony could do this side of the game. The question comes though, when you are defending a little bit deeper, you're defending your own box, or perhaps even a transition. Has Anthony got the one versus one tools defensively to deal with these situations? I'm not so sure. And of course, the other question would be, when the ball is on the other side of the pitch and coming into the box, could Anthony defend his back post? That would be the big, big question mark for me over Anthony at fullback, particularly near Lissandra Martinez, who also isn't the biggest. To then have Anthony, who really struggles in aerial duels, it would be a massive concern for me. A massive, massive concern for me. The box defence in general, he's just not used to doing it. Now, perhaps that's a little bit harsh to say, because the reason I'm saying this is because we haven't seen evidence of it. But just because we haven't seen evidence of it, doesn't mean he can't do it. So maybe he could be a good box defender, for example, or he might be really good in one versus one situations. The problem is, we just haven't seen it. So yes, he played that left-sided cameo against Liverpool, but let's be honest, Liverpool were massively fatiguing. And yes, he is a good defensive winger, which presses high but also tracks back. But that is very, very different to going one versus one against some of the best dribblers in the world that you face in the Premier League. So can Anthony play left-back? The question we asked at the start of the video, yeah, he can. Particularly against certain opposition, I think he would be quite a useful player in that position. In possession, against a side where you think you're going to really dominate and control the ball, I think Anthony would be very, very useful. However, let's say you're playing a big Premier League side, even a mid-table Premier League side, probably not. Because defensively, I don't think we've seen that he can do it. We haven't seen that he can do it on a regular enough basis. His box defence, it's just not something which he is used to doing. And even as we saw in the clip earlier, he doesn't look like he wants to play left back. And of course, it's not all about what a player wants. You have to do what your manager tells you to do. But I think a player playing somewhere where they naturally want to play and enjoy playing is always going to perform a little bit better. So can Anthony play left back? Yes. Against weak opposition, perhaps in the Carabao Cup, in the FA Cup against lower league opposition. But in the Premier League, I do think he would be found out from a defensive point of view. So in games where you can really enhance and focus on his in-possession play, it could work if United need it. Out of possession against the big sides, it's a bit of a no-no for me. That's my opinion on whether or not Anthony can and should play left-back for Manchester United. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Have I been a little bit harsh? Is he better from a defensive point of view than what I'm giving him credit for? Should it, should it happen? Could it really work? Or do you think this is a complete no-go area? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. But apart from that, we are finished for today. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.